Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well and welcome to this, the first instalment of updates regarding a new train station which I'm building for Duncton. Uh, this is based around a building that was given to me by Carriage of No Return which is, uh, he's a long time subscriber of mine and uh, he was generous enough to give me the station building and it was actually a wedding present which was uh, really, really nice of him. I am moving to the Mills system which is a uh, modular integrated landscaping system which is basically this is like a half mills plate because it's based on a 32 by 32 plate. But you put a base plate, you build bricks on it and then place whatever you want on top of that. And it's just a more robust way of building landscapes or cityscapes or whatever because they're just uh, a bit more robust and you can, uh, you can move them around a lot more and they lock together like modulus. In this case, I've just put sort of like one pin Technic bricks in so you could link them up but these are these are just temporary just for photos and display and stuff mainly because I don't have enough room for the double width tracks at the moment. Up until recently the uh, station did not have a second platform but in order to get to the second platform I needed to finish building a bridge. Now in my collection I didn't have enough brown sort of like narrow plates or specifically tiles either. So I needed to go to Bricklink and order those. So I made a few orders. Now I did over order on these parts deliberately just so I would have enough brown parts in the future because I want to make uh, some wooded areas in Duncton. Uh, and yeah, I, what, what's in my head is gonna be quite large but I need to make sure I can sort of store things and everything like that. But I did finish my bridge. So uh, let's take a look at how I did that. As you can see, I've also added a platform for the monorail and I want that to feature in the new layout as, uh, as I slowly build it. Um, I've also added a bike stand around the back of the station building. Uh, that wasn't already originally there, so that adds to that. And then that should lead on to sort of like a drop off point or something like that. At one end of the station, I think closer to the platform building is there's going to be a crossing like this. I don't know whether there are going to be many roads in the new Duncton, but this will lead into sort of like the drop off point. And as you can see, I've got servo motors just here. And these are 40 bricks servo motors. So they will be uh, getting controlled by the 40 bricks controllers. I've got an extra Wi Fi controller for trains. So I now have two Wi Fi controllers for trains. So as this gets built, 40 bricks uh, sensors and controllers will be getting built into it. Uh, there will be sensors somewhere along the platforms or built into bits of the railway at points uh, just to make sure that I can control the trains and there can be a bit of automation into it. So uh, that's, that's the plan for it. Uh, I do have quite a bit of 40 bricks at the moment, but I will be adding to it hopefully over the coming months. And that's it for this first update of uh, New Duncton, I suppose. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. The next video will be a haul video. I've got a few Bricklink orders and uh, a pick a brick wall sort of like haul and stuff to cover, which is all going towards uh, station building, platform building, and also some landscaping and stuff like that to just start expanding on 
the area around the station as well. So uh, there's that to look forward to. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and you can always subscribe and you'll see more videos like this and others like uh, track setups eventually. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.